Hey Rain fans, I am here with a man who really needs no introduction if you're in the hockey world. None other than the Stanley Cup champion, LA Kings goalie, Jonathan Quick. Thanks for being here and congratulations. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Awesome. So I know that as soon as you guys won, everybody is like, how's it feel? How's it feel? Kind of at a loss for words. Now that you've had a chance to kind of soak it in, how does it feel? I mean, obviously it's uh, the first few weeks, the first month or so, it's kind of, you don't fully understand what you know, you know what you and your team was about to just accomplished and uh, I think now you've had a few months to kind of look back on it and you know it's uh, you know it's something that guys worked their whole careers and you know some never able to do it and uh, you know we're very fortunate to have a great group of guys and to be able to do it you know especially for me early in my career and uh, you know it just uh, you kind of get a little possessive over it too you, you know you don't want anyone else to win it now you want to go out and win it again this year. All right, now, so as you're saying with your career, you started playing in the minor leagues. Where did you start at, and how was your journey to get to the NHL? Um, I started in Reading, playing with the Reading Royals, and, um, you know, I kind of, my first year I bounced around a bit. I think within the month of December, I, I went from the East Coast League to the American League to the National League, and then back down to the American League, then back down to the East Coast League, all within a month. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of travel, a lot of hotels, um, you know, but it's, you, you're playing a game you love and you, you, you just kind of enjoy, you enjoy whatever team you're on at the, at the moment and try to help them win games. And then, uh, you know, fortunate enough, uh, the following year I was able to work my way back up to, uh, with the Kings and, you know, kind of stuck. All right, now what was one of your best memories playing in the East Coast League? Um, you know, I think it, with with any team, it's just the, the group uh, the group of guys. We had a good group, and you know, we had a lot of fun. And uh, you know, going to the locker room every day was always a, a good time. Everyone had a lot of laughs, and um, I think that's uh, especially now with the kind of with the lockout going. That's that's what you miss. You miss being in the locker room, and uh, you know, being with the group of guys you used to going to work with every day. Um, but yeah, you know, being uh, when I was in Reading, that was you know that was definitely one of the one of the more enjoyable moments. All right, so now, team camaraderie aside, what's one of your favorite things about the sport of hockey? Uh, it's just, it, you know, I like how it's, uh, it kind of polices itself in a way, you know. Uh, you got guys on your team that make sure that, you know, guys don't get hurt, and I, I like how it polices itself, and, you know, obviously the competition, and, uh, you know, every night you, you got to come to work or, you know, you're going to lose, so, uh, I, you know, that's makes the game a little more interesting, I think. All right, so now lastly, coming from minor leagues, making it, winning a Stanley Cup, what advice do you have for minor league players? You just got to work and, you know, you got to enjoy where you are at the time. Obviously, if you, uh, you know, if you think you should be a like a level higher and, you know, you're sulking, you're not going to get anywhere doing that. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, you just got to work and, you know, good things happen and you, the harder you work, the more bounces you're going to get. All right, well, we hope that we get to see you start playing soon. Yeah. See you on the ice. Let's hope so. Best of luck. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me.